My name is Alejandro Bernal, and today we're going to be doing a design challenge um, making magnetic slime. And the grade that we're focusing on is fifth grade. We're going to be doing a little science project. And the standards that are met are from next generation science standards, and it meets the fifth grade standards, which is uh, what causes materials to have different properties. And things that students will identify are materials based on their properties and conduct investigations to determine whether the mixing of two or more substances results in a new substance. They begin to explain these properties and behaviors using a model of matter made up of particles too small to be seen. So like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing magnetic slime. And we have all the stuff right here. Um, we have magnetic slime in order to see how different materials can combine together to form something new. The more scientific name for this would be a heterogeneous mixture. And then just some questions that you can ask the students would be, what do you guys think a heterogeneous mixture is? And give us some time and then just to have some people share out their answers. And then after that, you can give them the correct answer, which is uh, a mixture where materials combine to form a new substance. That'd be the correct answer to what a heterogeneous mixture is. Some keywords to know that'll help the project make more sense is adhesion, which is the force of attraction between unlike molecules. Also, there's cohesion, which is the sticking together of like chemicals, such as a water molecule being attracted to another water molecule. And then you have heterogeneous, which is composed of different consistence or dissimilar components. And lastly, you have mixture, which is a material made up of two or more substances, which are mixed. So now we're gonna go ahead and start our next scene. Okay, so to start this off, we are going to start with the bowl. And you want to use gloves just when we get to the chemical powder because you don't want that on your skin. So we're going to start out with liquid starch. We bought the big one to be to save money, honestly. And you need a quarter cup. And we have a third measuring cup, so we poured in slightly less than the whole thing, if you can see that. So we're going to pour this into our bowl. And then we are going to need two tablespoons of the black iron oxide powder. And we have a half a tablespoon measuring, so we're gonna need four of these. When you do this, you wanna be careful not to breathe them in just because there are chemicals and you don't wanna ever breathe in chemicals. So we're gonna take four of these. This is very dark. So one, two, Three, four. I'm just gonna push this off to the side and we're gonna stir it. So as we're stirring it, I'm gonna tell you about the glue. After this, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of glue. And one cup of glue is eight ounces. And this package of glue we have right here is four ounces. So when this is all mixed, we're going to put in a half of that container of glue. It just makes it easier so we're not just using measuring cups when we don't really need to. So I'm just gonna keep stirring this. It's starting to kinda look like tar. It's getting a little thicker, it's mixing. So this is half a cup and we need a quarter cup so we're gonna add half of it and then after that we're gonna stir it with our hands and yeah, just play around with it. So we'll add about half of it. Okay, so we added the half a cup, so now we're just going to stir it with our hands and make sure it gets really well done. Probably do this for like a minute, I'd say, just so it can get really well mixed in. As you can see already, it's starting to bit. Make sure to wear gloves, just because this gets really messy. Sort of reminds me of uh, Venom from Spider-Man. I, 
Okay, so now we're going to pat it down with a paper towel just to make sure we have all of the excess out because you don't want it to be too watery. I think it's kind of weird. Should be good. And now we have to them. Here is our stack of magnets and well. <laughs> So the way this works is that the iron fillings inside of here cause the slime to be magnetic because it's one of the three elements um, that can be magnetic at room temperature. The other two would be cobalt and nickel. The slime holds the iron um, by adhesive, which is a force that holds molecules together and from different substances. The slime polymer has bonded uh, by cohesion, which just means um, they stick together really well and um, combination of magnetism pulling away one way and adhesion pulling the other is what causes, you know, the stretch. <laughs> and then, yeah, magnetic slime.